Is it possible to get the best of both worlds thinking of boosting your voice and best data performance? Keep it simple, keep it real. Yes, it is. It's not as simple as just using one or the other. And you may have noticed in a previous video and even stuff I did last year when I um, was um, at Rapid Bay, there's a significant performance difference between just running your modem through a cell fi boosted signal or using the actual modem to um, get you a 4G connection. And the problem is, that's always, and I did it explain this in a previous video, that you use a cell fi or you use a booster if you're overseas, um, your voice gets better. Great, but your data may not be as good as you want it to be. On the other hand, you fix your data using a modem such as the Steltonica 360, then you don't have a boosted voice because this thing produces a data connection. So you can have all your devices, including your phone, connected to Wi-Fi for voiceover, um, voiceover Wi-Fi, potentially um, WhatsApp and so forth, but it's not that classic phone service. So there's always going to be these contrasting requirements till the, as technology evolves, I can only imagine this will not be a problem in five, 10 years time, but for now it still is a genuine problem. So how can you get the best of both worlds? Because we, we, obviously we have to deal with both. It's not as complicated as it may seem. So first of all, let me just run through the actual process of a data connection. What you first have is a, a nice um, antenna on the roof, a MIMO antenna, multiple input, multiple output antenna that has two cables coming down. Now, it could be an x pole 2 from pointing antennas, it could be two of the um, our DR11's directional antennas, it could be two um, high-end LPDAs, it could be two Yagis, whatever. It could be two antennas that is out on the roof with two cables coming down, two cables get plugged into a modem such as the one I have in my hand, that gets you internet connection. It's fairly simple. One antenna, one antenna set, two cables, and a modem. That is it. On the other hand, with a cell fire, it's equally simple. You have one antenna on the roof, which in this case would potentially be a LPDA, lock periodic dipole array. It could be a Yagi. It pretty much a panel antenna or something similar, an omni antenna if you're on a boat or a caravan or so forth as well. One cable coming down, one cable connecting to the cell fire. You do need then another cable with another antenna on the internal side, so coming out of the cell fire that produces the new boosted 4G signal. Again, fairly simple. It's an antenna, cable, booster, cable, and another antenna on the inside. But the two separate systems. Now there is a way to get the best of both, and that's by basically taking an antenna, a MIMO antenna, one of the cables from the uh, x 2 or the MIMO antenna will go straight into your motor. So one of them will go straight into the modem. The other one will go into a splitter. So here's a little splitter box I have in my hand. Uh, can you see that? Yes, you can. It's one input, two outputs. So that cable goes one into here, and then with another piece of cable, so just any cable like I have here, it could be a very short cable, it runs from the um, small connector to both devices. So now you have two outputs. One output goes to the cell fire, one output goes to the other port of the modem. The modem then still produces Wi-Fi. The cell fi can still take that signal that it gets in and produces a nice signal for whatever system you have. It could be in your house, could be at your caravan, could be in your car, could be wherever you want it to be. The big thing that you do want to avoid, and that's by doing this, is your cell fi needs to get its own signal. But the modem also should not pick up the signal that comes from the cell fire because that's going to mess things up. You want the modem to get its own signal, that's why you connect it to the outside antenna. You want the cell fire to also connect to the external antenna and have its own service that it provides. So each device does its own little thing inside the house or inside the property or inside your caravan. I could talk more about it, but this is pretty much the, the diagram that you see, that you saw on the screen as I drew it. Let me know if you have any questions, if you think it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea, it does, it gets done like that and it works quite well. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, um, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.